Okay, this week for chapter 8 we were asked to either do three programs or one larger program. I chose to do the larger program, which is the Morse code generator. Uh, what it does is it takes whatever you put into the code, it'll output the Morse code equivalent to that string. So to begin, I started with importing what you always have to do, uh, setting some private strings, constructing a string with the original message, and then takes the character that when you input it and converts it straight into Morse code. Um, as you can see here, I've got all alphanumerical options have been converted into Morse code, including spaces, commas, question marks, and such as. And then it converts the original string into Morse code and then returns it back, um, as you can see down here. So then over here, I've got generate Morse code. This is just going to be your class for it, as well as your um, entry, stating that you can input your amount, scanning it in, and then sending it into the Morse class. So let me run this and enter the string, maximum of 40 characters. So let's put hello world. And this is the Morse code equivalent. And just to prove that it works, I'm going to go to here, type in Morse code decoder. And I'll input that Morse code. Hello world. Let's do it one more time. Let me run this. And so this time we'll put programming is fun. Take that chunk, copy it. I'm going to go back into Chrome. And programming is fun.